Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at showing you how to install these Titan Chain Diagonal Cable Snow Tire Chains on our 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. This is a tire size 245, 75, 17. These cables are going to be good for basically just light snow, so they might be sort of an emergency case only set of chains. The cable rollers are set in a diagonal pattern, so you get a little bit more coverage than you would with a ladder pattern style, but it's going to help with turning a little bit more. It's also going to help a little bit with starting and stopping. The cable rollers themselves are going to be able to cut down on some of that bumpiness that you would typically get just because they will roll across. And the finish is actually a nickel manganese alloy, so they're going to stand up a little bit better to rust, corrosion, and weather than a low carbon steel would. They do provide this rubber tensioner, which is nice because otherwise you typically have to pick those up. So the fact that they're included is a good feature and it helps keep the chain secure while you're rolling. And they tend to shift around, it'll help keep them in place. And because they do have that low profile that we talked about earlier, they are class S compatible. So if you do have limited wheel well clearance, that won't be an issue. The chains do come two to a set. And this pretty lightweight canvas bag. As far as roller chains go, this one's not the worst thing. And they're pretty easy to get back in there, but we always recommend picking up some kind of plastic tote to keep them in, just to keep the chains a little bit more secure and to keep all the weather out. The installation isn't too terrible. There are a few connection points to be made and you do have to get on or around and under your tire to get them on. So we always recommend trying it out in your garage beforehand to make sure that you know what you're doing before you find yourself stranded on the side of the road trying to figure it out. You can check out how we did it right now. To start the install process, the first thing we like to do is to lay the chains out flat, making sure that nothing is caught up or tangled. Also, you'll see that there's this opening here for the tire to fit and we want to make sure that the chains are facing the right way. If you take a close look at these, you can see that they do say tire side, so that is the side we want making contact with the tread and not these hooks on the other end. Once we have everything centered up where we like it, we'll feed one half of the chains around the back side, trying to find that gap that we left for ourselves earlier. Just trying to distribute everything as evenly as possible. So we got a little bit stuck here. We we'll pull the rest around, and then we can make our first connection on the back side. Now that we have them wrapped around our tire, we'll grab the back of each side so we can make our first connection on the back side. Just taking this loose link and fitting it into this hook, just like that. We can come around to the front. First, starting with this top one, just fitting the metal stud again through the catch plate. If you can get to the second one, it's great. For our case, I think the first one is best. We'll come down to the bottom and do the same thing. Just fit the stud into the catch plate, just like that. Now we'll use the provided self-tensioner, making sure that the hooks are facing out. Just trying to fit them on as evenly as we can, similar to how you might put a tire on or take it off, following a star pattern just to make sure that we keep tension in the chains while you're driving. Things tend to shift around a little bit. So using this is a good way to make sure that it stays even and then you have tension on the chains even though you might be bumping over some things and they might be wanting to shift around. Once you have the tensioner in place, that's it for the installation. Just make sure you do the same thing on your passenger side tire. Roll forward or backwards a few times to make sure that everything is secure and in place and then you're ready to go. Overall, as far as roller style tire chains go, if you're going to get those, I'd probably recommend these versus some other ladder pattern chains because this also does give you a little bit more coverage and has this rubber tensioner included. If you want something that's going to last a little bit longer and might be useful for more conditions, you might want to check out some of Koenig's Square Link self-tensioning tire chains. They're diamond patterns, so you get the same coverage, but you'll get a little bit more use out of them. This was just a look at the Titan Chain Diagonal Cable Snow Tire Chains and how they fit on a 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. 